What's going on? It's Ben with Buy It, Break It, Fix It. Pass the build here. So stick around. We're going to get into that. All right. So those who don't know, this is the Pass the Build. Um, Bull Gear RC. That's a YouTube channel, Bull Gear RC. Uh, they, he started this Pass the Build thing. And the whole idea is... He had, I think Bull Gear started with axles. He had two axles and he sent them to another YouTube channel and they added something to it and they sent it to another channel and it just keeps going. That's why I passed the build. So you just keep passing the build on until it's built. And then I guess it's going back to Bull Gear and then Bull Gear will do a giveaway of the truck. So this is where it's at so far. I'll put a link in the um, description down below to Bull Gear's playlist. Bull Gear has a playlist set up on his channel that has every video from every channel in it. So you can just go there and watch each one. So I guess to enter in to, to, to win this thing, you have to watch each video and comment on each video, like each video, I, I have no idea. But um, something along those lines. So if you are interested in getting in on this, you go to Bull Gear's channel and um, check out that playlist. So. Looks pretty good so far. Got a honey dip paint job on there, a custom 3D painted bed or a 3D printed bed. Got some uh, brass wheel weights, custom diff covers, king shocks. I like these upper mounts here or upper links. Those are nice. So there we go. All right, so we're gonna get our parts on here and get this thing out of here. That way. It can get done and get finished and get on its way to its new owner. So, um, I went down to Hobby Hanger and I was talking to Dave and Colin about this past the build. And Dave and Colin did what they could do. You know, I told them what I wanted to do with the build and um, they gave me a good discount on the parts for it. So, I wanted to put that in there that Hobby Hangers definitely helped pass the build out a little bit by uh you know just discounting the the parts because of it going to uh you know be a giveaway or whatnot so so what i decided to do was i did uh g made sr02 beadlock wheels they're not in here i've already got them and i did uh pro line bf goodrich mud terrains so that's what we got going on and i have them right here they're all put together already there's no weights in these wheels. They're pretty heavy on their own, so I decided not to go with any weight. And um, let's go ahead and put them on the build and see what it looks like. And we'll try to wrap this video up pretty quick. All right, that's what they look like on the truck. Let's see if I can't get you turned over there a little bit. Get my coffee all the way. Don't mind if I do. Mmm. All right, so. In the um, in the package, you have some leftover stuff. There's one one screw and nut for each tire or each wheel left over, and then these black ones in there are a little bit longer. They're installation screws. They're a little longer to compress the wheel and everything together. And then here's a little socket. That's what's used for their um, their bolts on here. I don't I don't know what size it is. So. Let me grab the body. All right. And there's what it looks like with the body. So that's what's going on there. And then we're going to add one more thing to it just to do the build. And that is some 3D printed propane little propane canisters, propane tanks, whatever you want to call them. So we're going to, this, this can be primed. They can be actually be sanded, primed, painted, whatever, whatever. So I don't know where you want to put them. They they'll go on there anywhere. It doesn't matter. You can glue them down you can put Velcro on the bottom and just Velcro them down, whatever you want to do with them, but that's it. So there's the past the build and my contribution to the past the build. I'll give you a good shot of the truck here with the cab on and everything. It's a really, really nice build. 
somebody's going to be a very lucky, lucky person. Yeah, so one lucky person will win this. Um, and then everybody puts their channel stickers in the envelope. So my channel stickers are already in the envelope. And along with that, um, I had printed out some little scale size stickers. And these are not cut out or anything. They need to be cut out. So it was just a big sticker sheet. So I'll put these in there too. Just something to mess with. But um, you have to cut out the actual pattern on the sticker if you want to use these. And then the tires came with the proline stickers so those will be in there too so the next channel this goes to is tj's rc uh i will leave a i will leave a um a link to his channel in the description below that way you guys can go check out the next item that's added to the build so let me get this back up here all right, so that's about it. Like I said, Bull Gear RC and many, many, many others uh, have been doing this build. So we're just gonna uh, we just thank them for letting us be a part of it here by Break and Fix It. So it's a very, very cool, cool idea, cool truck, very awesome. So we're gonna get this all boxed up and get this sent off to TJ's RC. That way he can start doing it and. Um, the less time we take with it, the faster somebody gets it and gets it running. So, all right, everyone, be sure to go check out Bull Gear RC's channel, and uh, that playlist is called Pass the Build, and then um, everybody else's channel. Go check them out, and uh, if you want to get in on this, do what you need to do to get entered in. So, all right, everybody, remember, just like this, with this whole concept of Pass the Build, be good to people and people will be good to you. I mean, I've said it how many times it, it is so true that, uh, you know, it's like, it's like goes back to the saying, you know, treat others the way you want to be treated. It's the same deal. Be good to people and people will be good to you. That's just, it's just the way it goes. So, uh, Bull Gear's paying it forward here and doing something really, really awesome. And then, uh, he got everybody else on board, which is even more awesome. So, I'm going to put all this stuff down in one of the GMA bags, and then uh, I will put it into the Proline bag. So there you go. There's all my stuff in there, and I do that because the Proline bags actually seal back up. So there, that's locked in there. I guess I'll tuck this bag in there with it. So, All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Be good to people. People good to you. <laughs> Again, Ben.